All right. All right, so what I'm gonna do is go over how D rates can get you out of MPUs. That was something that always confused me uh, when I first started because I'm kind of thinking, you know, that sounds like you're like lowering the panel. So how can I produce, or how can I backfeed more amps if I'm gonna D rate this panel? Um, so let me explain how that works. So first thing you have to know is to figure out how many amps you're allowed to backfeed. Um, I don't know how other states are. I'm just talking about California. You take the bus bar rating, multiply that by 1.2 minus the main breaker. That gives you your allowed PV amps. So let's say this main breaker right here is 200 amps and the bus bar right here is 200 amps. You see the bus bar rating on, on the uh, inside door of the panel. So let's say it's 200, 200. Well, my bus bar times 1.2 is 240 minus my 200 amp main breaker equals 40 amps. So I'm allowed to backfeed 40 amps on this panel. So to figure out how many amps your system is, Solar Edge is really easy. You just look up the specs or on the side of the inverter, it will tell you how many amps. Um, in California, you have to multiply that by 1.25. Um, I don't know, in case of like a solar flare or something, it, it can produce more. Um, so Solar Edge is really easy. You take, you take the amps, just multiply it by 1.25. End phase, uh, you just gotta do one more equation because you have multiple inverters. So you add it all up just as if you would have had two solar edge inverters, you'd add them together, multiply by 1.2. Um, IQ7s are one amp each. IQ7 pluses are 1.21. IQ7As, 1.45. Um, and, and the new IQ8s are, are basically the same. So let's say I have 35 panels. And um, just to make the math easy, let's say they're IQ7s. So I take that. That's 35 amps times times 1.2, so that'd be another seven amps on top of that. So my system would be 42 amps. I am now over what I'm allowed to backfeed. Um, so you got a couple of options. You can do a main panel upgrade, but that's very expensive um, and takes the customer longer to get PT. It just adds time to everything. Nobody likes them. Um, so what I can do is mess with this equation a little bit. So if I take that main breaker and I derate that down to a 175, well, now I'm 240 minus 175 equals 65 amps. Now I'm allowed to backfeed 65 amps. And why is that? So um, that, that's what always confused me. So let's say, I have this 200 amp breaker. What that's doing is protecting this bus bar. So if I try to pull in more power than 200 amps to power my loads right there, this breaker is gonna trip and it's not gonna allow that power flow to protect the bus bar. So when you have solar, that, that solar breaker has to be the furthest away from, from the uh, main breaker. Um, but let's say you had, you know, your 42 amps, let's say you landed it on a 45 amp breaker. So it doesn't mean that it's gonna be 45 amps, it's still 42, but there's no such thing as a 42 amp breaker. So let's say that's on a 45 amp breaker right there. Well, you could be potentially producing 42 amps into this bus bar. It's not protected by anything. It's protected by this breaker right here, but that's a 45 amp breaker. So it's gonna let you heat up this bus bar with 42 amps. Well, what if at the same time, I'm pulling in 200 amps? Now I'm heating up this bus bar by more than the 1.2 that's kind of safe to do. I'm doing 242 amps. You know, what, what happens if that was a 60 amp system? You know, now, now I'm doing, um, you know, now you're doing 260. So you're heating up this bus bar more than it's rated for and it could start a fire. So what you do is now that you've derated that to a 175, it's only gonna allow 175 amps. So I can't pull 200 through there. The most I can pull is 175 plus my 42 over here. That's gonna put me below 
the safe rating. So let's say it's even bigger, 90 amps, something like that. Well, I can derate this down to a 150. That will give me 25 more amps. Um, now I have 90 amps to back feed. Well, what happens if your system is a 95 amp? Well, you better hope that this bus bar is at 225 because now 225 times 1.2, you're looking at 270 amps right here. That's gonna give you another 30 amps to back feed on top of your 150 amp breaker. So now I can, instead of 95, I can do 125 amps of back feed. So what happens if you're over 125 amps and you have this 225, you know, bus bar, you're only allowed to derate it, you know, a 200, 225 down to 150. Um, so they do make panels called solar ready panels where they're 225 and they come with a 125 amp breaker. That's gonna allow you to back feed a lot of power. You're at 270 right there, minus your 125. You're looking at, what, what does that stand for? You're looking at, whatever it is, 125, so 145 amps. So, but these are extremely hard to find right now. So what you can do is instead of waiting on, you know, this unicorn of a panel, you can actually take this, um, where's my eraser? So rather than trying to search all over for that panel, you can take this, put in, you know, eliminate this whole thing, replace it with like a meter main disconnect. So they're like the small ones where you see just the meter and there's just like this little box underneath it and all it has in it is a main breaker. So you can buy one that's 125 amps. Those are easy to find. Then you buy a 200 amp sub panel. Those are easy to find. Now I can pull the loads that were in there over to here. I got my 200 amp bus bar or 225 amp sub panel. I'm feeding it to the lugs of that sub panel with this 125 amp breaker. So now this is a 225 amp bus with a 125 amp breaker, giving me the ability to have huge back feeding without having to search all over the world for this solar ready panel. Um, they also make panels that have their own um, alternative energy bus bar, like 100 amps, um, but that's not going to help you in this situation if, you, if you're well over that 100 amps. So this is why D rates allow you to backfeed a lot more power and you're able to, to get out of a lot of MPUs. Um, next, I'm going to talk about, because I see this happen sometimes where companies do MPUs um, because they're maxed out and there's no space to land the solar breaker. Um, that one's an easy, even easier fix and I'll do a, do a video later on that. Thanks guys.